The first step is to connect the PASoft software and determine what code you actually have. Uh, you can find this by clicking on the SRS or safety restraint module. The error that I have under the SRS module is battery safety terminal 1 resistance too high right there. What this indicates is that somewhere I have a break or disconnection in my battery safety terminal. Step 2 assumes that you have the same error code that I did. Your battery safety terminal resistance is too high. If you do, the battery safety terminal is located in the trunk near the battery itself. To access the battery safety terminal, you'll need to remove the bottom panel as well as the panel closest to the front of the car, which I was just tugging on, and then the passenger panel. Uh, again, this is, well, you need to remove the panel from the front closest to the car, right there, and then also the panel on the passenger side. Once you have removed all the panels, uh, the battery safety terminal is this yellow clip and subsequent wire that I'm holding. So mine had come undone when I broke the clip, changing the battery. Uh, you may have also smashed something else into it. Either way, check your battery safety terminal clip and the surrounding wires and fix whatever is needed uh, by soldering or um, electrical taping, etc., etc. In the event that your seatbelt light was not caused by the battery safety terminal, it is more than likely caused by the seatbelt occupancy sensor. Using the PASoft software, you have the option to turn off that uh, seat occupancy recognition by going to the SRS module and then equipment. As I understand it, by turning this off, it will deploy both airbags in the event of an accident, regardless of if there's a passenger in the passenger seat or not. To turn off your occupancy sensor, open the PASoft, then go to the SRS module and equipment, unselect the seat occupancy sensor, and then select right equipment on the right side. 